2019, um, I decided to do uh, Ramadan uh, for the first time. I wasn't a Muslim, but I did Ramadan and I would read also the Quran. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sahabat Jurnal Muslim, semoga pada kesempatan kali ini kami temui dalam keadaan sehat walafiat. Amin. Pada video kali ini kami mengangkat sebuah kisah dari seorang mu'alaf yang bernama Georgia Peterson. Georgia Peterson adalah seorang mu'alaf yang berasal dari Luxembourg. Tidak pernah terpikirkan olehnya bahwa dia akan menjadi seorang muslim. Terlebih, mengingat tragedi yang menimpa saudara perempuannya. Saudara perempuan Georgia adalah seorang guru di Doha, Qatar. Hubungan keduanya cukup dekat, terlebih beberapa bulan sebelum saudaranya meninggal. Beberapa hari sebelum saudaranya meninggal tersebut, mereka datang ke Inggris untuk menghadiri pemakaman nenek mereka. Mereka juga menghabiskan waktu bersama dengan penuh kehangatan. Tidak ada yang bisa mengira bahwa sehari setelah perpisahan Georgia dan saudaranya di stasiun kereta api, saudaranya dibunuh oleh seseorang yang mengaku bahwa dia seorang muslim. Setelah kematian saudaranya ini, Georgia merasa sebagian dari dirinya menghilang. Kemudian dia mulai mengenal dunia malam dan melakukan banyak hal yang merusak dirinya. Hingga akhirnya, Georgia pindah ke Luxembourg yang merupakan tempat tinggalnya saat ini. Seperti apa kisah Georgia Peterson masuk Islam? Mari kita simak video berikut ini. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm a little bit nervous, honestly, for today's um, video because I don't know if you know, but I recently converted to Islam, so I'm now officially a Muslim, alhamdulillah. And I kind of just, honestly, I don't know why I'm making this video, but <laughs> I kind of just wanted to uh, put my story out and just talk about why I converted to Islam. So I don't really like to talk about this, but basically my sister, who was a teacher um, working in Qatar, in Doha, Qatar, um, she was working there as a teacher. And in October 2013, she was murdered by a man who is a so-called Muslim. Clearly not a Muslim, if you can kill someone. But anyway, And the reason why I feel like it's relevant to mention that is because I feel like everything from that day um, over the years kind of led me to finding Islam and eventually eventually becoming a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Um, so I guess after that I kind of lost myself a lot, like it just like lost my older sister, um, she was like my best friend and we have like in the last few months before she died we had like a really really close relationship and what's strange is that the last time i saw her it was the day before that she was murdered so she had come over to the uk for my nan's um funeral and we spent like the night before just me and her together because my mom wasn't there um we spent the night together And we were just watching Louis Faroe, which is a guy who does documentaries. And yeah, and I remember my sister had to fly the next day uh, pretty early. So I, uh, she dropped me to the train station. And yeah, you know, like uh, when I said goodbye to her, I had this weird feeling like the hug that I gave her was kind of like a hug where it was like um, it was going to be the last time that I was going to see her. And I'll never forget that, you know, and sorry. And I feel, yeah, it's just, it's funny how you sometimes know these things. And then the next day she was like missing, she didn't answer her phone or anything. And then, yeah, and then we found out she was murdered. But uh, I mean, I would one day like to put the story out there because I feel like more people need to know about it and I feel like it needs more coverage and yeah, people should be aware of what actually happened to her. Um, but that's definitely a story for another day. But I know that she's in Jenna now and 
um, inshallah she's in Jannah and that she has is having the best time and much better than than this life would have offered her. So I started to um, drink a lot after that. I would go out a lot. I would um, smoke a lot. Um, I just kind of like, I spiraled out of control. I was rebelling. I was 16 when this happened and now I'm 26. So it was, yeah, 10 years ago. Yeah, so I was really um, just self-destructing. I was angry at the world. I just like really, really lost myself. And then um, I started to get really, really bad anxiety, I think from smoking a lot and just, yeah, basically destroying myself. Um, and I eventually moved back to Luxembourg, which is where I live currently. And in 2017, I met someone who potentially, let's just say, um, changed my life um, for the better at that time, alhamdulillah. Uh, so this person was a Muslim, it is a Muslim, and I kind of stopped drinking, I kind of like changed my lifestyle, um, and then uh, I was still having really, really bad anxiety and I was going through like a really, really hard time. And yeah, at that point I just ended up just really stopping everything. Uh, I stopped working for about a year. Um, I was really working on myself and trying to just change my lifestyle because I wasn't happy and I never really was happy. Like I tried my best to find happiness. Like I couldn't, I just was never satisfied was never happy, couldn't get over everything that had happened um, in in life. And then it was, I think, 2019, um, I decided to do uh, Ramadan uh, for the first time. I wasn't a Muslim, but I did Ramadan and I would read also the Quran because actually my sister, she had a Quran that she bought when she was working as a teacher. So my mom had given it to me. Um, because she knows that I was interested in uh, Islam. So I would uh, fast and I would try to read a little bit of the Quran, uh, watch some lectures on Islam and everything. And I just found it so, so peaceful. Like it was the most peaceful time for me. I was happy. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about like anything sad, anything bad. I was just really, at peace with myself. I loved fasting. I loved reading the Quran. I just, I loved kind of everything about it. And yeah, so after that, I started to learn more about Islam, watch a lot of videos. Um, but I didn't really know that many Muslim people or anyone that was kind of like interested to really teach me uh, about Islam. So in I think it was about, yeah, 2020, um, I got in contact with a girl that I um, knew a little bit from um, back in the day and we kind of just got back into contact and we started speaking and I found out that she was actually a Muslim, she converted to Islam uh, that year and we just really connected and we started just to talk about Islam all the time, she um, showed me how to pray, um, yeah, she just really, really helped me and really made me love Islam uh, even more and I decided that I would do my Shahada, alhamdulillah and so I did my Shahada um, but it was still like pretty lonely for me and of course you know when you've lived like uh, at that time I was 24 yeah when you've lived like 24 years like as a non-Muslim, there's a lot of things that's like, it's a big change, you know, it's a big, it changes your life completely to afterwards revert to, to Islam. So, you know, I was finding it uh, difficult and I was in a like toxic uh, situation and time in my life. So I kind of just did my Shahada and then a few months later I kind of just stopped to learn about Islam and I kind of just kind of left it on the side and I did feel guilty about it like I didn't do my prayers I didn't pray um, I wasn't really implementing the 
religion into my life and I know it was not the right thing to do. At this time I still, I never drank alcohol ever again so I haven't drank alcohol in uh, I want to say four years or three and a half years alhamdulillah and also have not smoked in yeah the same as well and I would never do it again so that's something that I'm really proud of myself for and happy that I don't do. Um, of course I don't go out, you know, I don't do any of that kind of stuff anymore. I also lost a lot of friends because well, I just didn't go out anymore, so, you know, life, like, changed a lot. But I kind of, yeah, I kind of lost, um, my imam went down a lot and I kind of just lost sight again of what I was doing and the real reason why we are in this dunya, like, I lost my path, like, the real meaning of life. I just kind of was living for this world and not for the next. Um, and then my anxiety got really, really bad again, like to the point where I couldn't leave my house. Um, I, yeah, I just, I was panicking all the time. And so I started to listen to the Quran a lot and it just brought such a sense of peace um, to me. And yeah, I just, even if you don't understand the words, like as a revert and someone who doesn't understand Arabic, you know, I know a few words. Um, of course, I'm not going to understand everything. I know a few surahs now, alhamdulillah, but that's it. At that time, I didn't. But even though I didn't understand um, what was being said, it was so peaceful and it's something that really, really calmed my anxiety. I would listen to it when I had to go on trips or sometimes if I couldn't sleep, I would put it on before sleeping and I just found it so, so, so peaceful. The end of 2022 is when I really started to um, really started to build up my faith and my connection with Allah, with God and I started to do my prayers and now it's become obligatory to to pray five times a day and I have just found like a sense of peace like even if I'm going through a hard time um, which I am I always say alhamdulillah and I'm I know that I have to put my trust in Allah and I know that he is the best of planners and he has a plan for everything and there's a reason for everything and it just brings me so much peace to know that okay even if I'm going through hard times I've gone through hard times I'm gonna go through hard times again I know that inshallah if I keep my trust in Allah and I have sabah and I be patient that one day um, things will be okay and you know and just to think that we're here to work for the next life nervous to make this video and I just I know that I don't wear the hijab and I know that I have a lot to learn and a lot to change but inshallah that will come with time you know I'm I'm learning and it's lonely honestly when you don't really have a lot of Muslim friends because I don't I have like one or two um, and I barely see them alhamdulillah I'm grateful that they're in my life and yeah like it's just I'm happy like I found well the real meaning like of what I'm supposed to do and it really really has helped me a lot to um, be calmer, to have patience, to not be so angry, um, everything it's just yeah I'm just really really happy and I'm excited to learn more and I'm excited that inshallah Ramadan is coming in less than 20 days and I'm really excited it's just come at the right time as I feel like it does for most people so I'm really excited and if you have any advice or maybe any lectures that you know or just anything you can leave it in a comment down below but please be kind because I'm very nervous for this video and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a like and a comment and yeah just I'll be posting more videos soon inshallah so please subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok I will leave them up here somewhere on the screen bye